By the time you're done watching this video, you're gonna know how to go out and build a massive cash buyers list full of actual cash buyers. I like this video if you've ever been in the situation where you've had a contract to buy a property at a discount, but you had a hard time finding a buyer. Matter of fact, it took you a couple weeks just to find a buyer, or maybe you actually didn't find a buyer and you had to cancel your contract. If that's you, then comment below. Now, I find that most wholesalers, their main issue is not being able to find good deals, but it's being able to find buyers to buy the deals from them once they get the contract. And I know this because I was in that same situation myself. When I first started wholesaling, I closed my first deal. I made $7,000, I quit my job, and then it took me almost a year to get my next deal. And I couldn't figure it out. I had buyers. I had a list over 200 buyers on my buyers list and I couldn't figure out why I wasn't closing any deals. And then I started noticing that my deals that I was sending to my buyers list started reappearing online. They were reappearing in Facebook groups. I started seeing them on Craigslist and I was like, what's going on? This is, this is weird. So I realized with a little bit of time that my buyers were actually other wholesalers. So I actually trashed my whole entire buyers list because obviously it wasn't a buyers list and I had to rebuild it from the ground up. Once I rebuilt my buyers list, I had about 60 buyers when I started wholesaling again. And as soon as I got my first deal, I sold it within the first three hours of getting the contract. And then on my next deal I got, I sold it again the next day. And then on my next deal, it was just the same, same thing. I was selling my deals really quick because I had actual buyers. Now I wanna show you how to find actual cash buyers because it's a very, very important skill to have when you're wholesaling. And I tell my, my students when they join my program, I don't want you looking for any deals before you build your buyers list. Make sure you have a buyers list first because it's gonna take a lot of stress off you and it's gonna help you out in the long run. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer. I'm gonna show you how to actually build a cash buyers list the right way. So guys, there's three tools you're gonna need when doing this, this uh, cash buyer hack I'm about to show you. The first one is gonna be PropWire. It's a free data website. Um, it's a really cool website. We've been using it now for a few weeks. We've actually closed a couple deals from the data on this website. This isn't my main website that I use for lead generation and sellers and stuff. This is a free method that I'm gonna teach you how to find uh, cash buyers for your, your wholesale deals. So what we're going to do is first, we're gonna to go to lead types and it's pretty simple. You're just gonna click cash buyers here. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do single family homes. Now, if you're looking for buyers for land, you're gonna to wanna to do land too here. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna look in, let's just say Mecklenburg, North Carolina. And once you do that, what I like to do is I'm gonna go through these and I'm gonna look at the owner here. And what's cool about this is you have the owner's name here. And then I like to see how much property they own. This person owns a little over $2 million worth of property. So because it has an address here, which is their mailing address, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this uh, address here. And what I like to do is I like to remember the, the city. It's Cary, North Carolina. True People Search is a uh, method that you can use to skip trace for free. Now you can go right here. We're going to punch in the city, Cary, North Carolina. And now what I'm doing here is I'm looking for this person's name. There he is right here. And usually it is going to pop up a bunch of phone numbers. Most of the time is going to be the most updated wireless phone number. And now what we're going to do, we're going to copy and paste that. We're going to come over here. We're going to put that right in there. And all I'm going to say is, all you're going to do now is press send. And there's that. And then you're going to go here and you're going to do the next one. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to want to organize your buyers list. Once you start getting people coming back to you saying, yes, I want to buy off-market properties, I would go ahead and keep them on a Google Sheet. I would organize it by their name, their phone number. I would get their email, and then I would put any notes here if you needed to. For the most part, I don't ever really put notes and let's say, tell me something specific. But build your buyers list, build it big. And I'm telling you, this is one of the best ways to build your buyers list. So again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe this video. I'm doing a lot to uh, bring a lot of content to you all. 
And I would really appreciate that.